This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop with me, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. Today, we're playing Mardu Aristocrats. Thanks to M19, we do get some sweet new toys uh, to try to see if we can hang on the ladder. Uh, what new toys did we get? Well, before we go over that, let's talk about the game plan. Uh, the game plan essentially is just to play a bunch of small cheap critters um, that all get obliterated by Cry of the Carnarium. May I uh, just, yes, yes, that one really popular card that everyone's playing, dodge it or make them have it. But other than that, uh, so you get to play a bunch of like little cheap threats and then you, uh, whenever you kind of just like chip damage them and then they all have like dying effects. So thanks to like Judith, whenever anything dies, you send a damage, uh, cruel celebrant, you get to send a, uh, like a ridiculous amount of damage. Now I did want to try midnight reaper in this deck, but, or I originally I had midnight reaper, but instead I added Chandra this time around and we're going to see how that goes. And of course, you know, we're also, a we're loaded with multicolored spells now, thanks to uh, Corpse Knight and stuff like that. So I decided to throw in a few Hero of Precinct 1s. But other than that, deck's just a bunch of small little uh, like guys running around, punching people, and of course riding horses. Because these are the three sweet new cards that M19 brought us. And as I said, riding around on horses and punching people, <laughs> here it is. Corpse Knight. Look at it, 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses 1 life. That's right, you get to pick at their health total whenever you play any of your small cheap threats, which is amazing. Uh, we also have Knight of the Ebon Legion, which makes it so it's just a solid 1-drop. It, it can win games on its own. This, oddly enough, is our early and late game, so there you go. Uh, and to add to the reach, we have Chandra, Acolyte of Flame. Now, we don't play any burn spells, right? We do only have, like, Legion's End and things like that. But the ability to keep making two one ones and put them into play, hit them, hit the opponent while, like, you know, with the tokens, obviously. But also, if we have a Judith out, they become two ones. If we have Corpse Knight, they lose two when they enter the battlefield. And if you have Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant, that means you get to deal two when they enter deal two when they attack, and deal two more after they die, or they leave at the end step. So there's a lot of cute synergies here. Let's see if we can get it to happen. Other than that, uh, without holding up any longer, let's see how the deck does in the queues. Mr. The Human. Good luck, opponent. Okay. Let's try. Let's try it. Let's see if we can get... We need more die triggers, though. Like, Judith is solid, because it can send the damage anywhere. But I, I want more Cruel Celebrants. Like, would the uh, Blood Artist be too broken in the standard? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Alright, what are they playing? So they mulled down to six. I like our uh, our six or seven cards here. We can go turn two hero into Judith. Alright, looks like it's vampires. That's gonna be a good target to play. Maybe because they see Godless Shrine, they slow down how much they actually uh, drop on the board because they're afraid of a board wipe. Or they could just flood out anyways oh no no <laughs> drill bit i was not ready for drill bit i was not ready for drill bit <laughs> do you have another one? Oh, okay i was like that's brutal if you've got another one fortunately we're just gonna have to hope we survive long enough for this to be okay i mean i'd like to play judith here if hero just gets to net one token with judith that's all i ask for oh Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, so we did not get to do what I wanted to do. Uh, is there a reason for playing Judith? Not really. They're gonna grow their whole board anyways. May as well play the Corpse Knight and start dinging them. This looks like a mono black aggro list and it's... that Ripping that Bedevil is pretty big. So we're gonna take four, six, eight. We're down to eight. All right, so next turn we can go ahead. What we'll do this turn is we'll try to try to block. I mean, we're not blocking with this. Yep, let's go ahead and attack. We're not blocking this turn, so. So that's five, seven. Yeah, that's fine. We go to one. 
This gets bigger, of course. All right. And now we have a body to jump in front of all of this. Can we actually get this across, though? Let me think here. No attacks. Can we get rid of the Knight of the Ebon Legion? Okay, that's a problem. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Because that's just going to keep looping itself. I guess we got to sit back. Hopefully they don't draw... Oh, boy, that's a meatball for sure. I mean, they don't even need to do anything right now. That's just... Oh, wow. That's a beating and a half. Really needed a ripper removal spell there. Did not find one. How do I beat them? Let's see. We need to find a removal spell. Bedevil or anything? Okay, cool. Our own. Okay, that's pretty good. Can we come back from this? Like, I mean, we just need to rip a removal spell and get rid of this cavalier. If we can get rid of the cavalier, that's it. That's all we need to do. Let's see, what do they have in the yard here? Taskmaster? Sure. Oh, I, sh I, I couldn't shock, so I had to do this. Hmm... How many things are dying this turn? With all the things that are dying... Think here. Hmm. I think that's all we need to do. Turn it to the battlefield so we get like a million triggers. So we have six triggers. What are they returning? All of these are tapped, so we just end it, send it to them and kill them. Just send it all to them. And that's lethal. Nice! And we got there. Good luck, Twisty Rob. That last gate was pretty sweet. Um, let's go ahead and play this. We don't have the turn one red drop, but or red land, but it's okay. Oh no, is it goblins? Are we about to get gobbled up? Well, luckily we do have a removal spell, so that's pretty nice. This could be Cavalcade. So we have to be mindful. What, does it light up the stage or something? Should we be running light up the stage? I think we should. As long as we dodge Cry of the Carnarium decks, we're good. Oh, that sweeper that everyone plays right now? Yeah, if we just dodge that, we're fine. So we're going to be mana efficient this turn. We're going to go ahead and lead off with one of our two drops here. So it sh it's going to be, let me see here. So it should be this because now we have the right mana to play whatever we need. Yeah, I'll lead off with Fireblade Artist. This is the one where if they remove it, it's not that major of a deal. Although they do have five mana at their disposal right now. Six mana. They could just sack all three and play Chandra. Which is... Very terrifying. Okay, well that's going to die this turn. Or next turn. Okay, we took two. That's not great. Decline. I don't want to launch anything. So we have to shock this turn. Uh, okay. We'll pass. I hope they just don't have anything else, but what else would they be holding on to, right? Like, I mean, how do we beat a single Trash Master right now? We need to draw our other removal spells. All right, so Wily Goblin, not the worst, but we need to resolve this Judith before they resolve any of their nonsense. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Yep, that's two mana. There's the Chain Whirls. Okay. Alright. So they do have Chain Whirler, unfortunately. I mean, I'd be surprised if they didn't. They're a goblin deck. Uh, 
Okay. Grim Initiate leaves something behind in the event it gets wiped off the face of the earth from Chain Whirler. How are efficient are we at blocking? Probably not very. Oh, jeez Louise. That's a problem. Hey, that looks like a problem. Well, that's because it is. May as well just take the four. Take the four. Get something back. We need to find something to answer this Trash Master before it dunks us. Luckily, we do have Cruel Celebrant, which is pretty nice. Decline. Neither of those answer the Trash Master awkwardly. Alright, sending this in. Grim Initiate can get eaten by the Chain Whirler. That's fine. Anytime anything dies now that's a non-token, that's guaranteed three. And then if it is a token, that's at least two. We gain some life back. Okay. So we get to send one damage somewhere, huh? Send it upstairs. Net another token. Sure. Oh, jeez. This is becoming a huge problem. I wish this could fling at certain things, but that's not the case. Not exactly the best target, considering they could just sack it. Oh, they should have sacked it. We wouldn't have seen their hand. Oh. Alright, send in our friendly little uh, Fireblade artist. Oh, this is a problem. Yeah, you got it. Just a bunch of tutus, don't mind me. What can I pick off here? Uh, I guess I could block this. Take the damage from Chain Whirler. And then we kill off the War Chief here. Yeah. Kind of like that. I mean, getting rid of this goblin's also pretty major, but next turn I might need something to block it. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. And everything else goes upstairs. Uh, do I want to launch anything? Not really. I think I have lethal. That's fine. Decline. We have lethal. Nice, and we win again. Dex just piling up wins. You gotta love it. All right, Nell X1, good luck. Or is it Nala X1? Yeah, I probably butchered it. Either way, we'll be fine. All right, we draw a Lord effect here. Uh, Judith, Judith is pretty good. Also got a Dodge Cry the Carnarium, that's all. I wonder how far this deck can get us. I mean, it already bumped us up to like silver, whatever this is. That's pretty good. Although a few of these cards are leaving, right? Let me think here. What's leaving with rotation? Oh, shock. Okay, so this is a black deck, so it's going to have Cry the Carnarium. I guess, like, our shock lands are leaving. That's going to be a nuisance. So, hopefully they don't have Cry the Carnarium. <laughs> right? That's our, our dream right now. If only the Corpse Knight could ping Planeswalkers. Oh, no! <laughs> Cruel Celebrant, see you later. Well. Uh, that has to be Land and Sweeper. Second White Source and Sweeper, that is. Cry the Carnarium is an, uh, an obliteration, but... Oh. Okay, so it's Hero. And then it's Thought Erasure. To nab our Dragon Skull Summit. Ha-ha! You thought we would draw a good card, did ya? Nope, we even drew another non-good card. Okay, oops, I forgot to play the Dragon Skull Summit they know about. Oh well! Ugh. I think we lost. <laughs> that, no, I mean, not even like that Cruel Celebrant would have saved us, but... Would've been nice. Well, I mean, I'll tell you what. This other land we've drawn is not where we want to be. So, GG's. Good luck, DJK80. Uh, this is a lot of, like, interaction, I guess. 
Sure. We have, like, a nice mana base, too, so I'll keep it. It's an opt from the opponent. That's a good draw. Pay two life. Footlight Fiend. Ass. So now we get to go one, two, and three with uh, Fireblade Artist being our two drop. Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Oh, okay, Warcraft Marauder. I wonder how many more of those do they have? Alright, I'm gonna see how many they have, because that card's pretty good. Alright, so they have to tap out right now in order to play Jin. I can live with that. Exclusion Mage, sure. Huh. Obviously, I'm not. Or maybe I am killing. No, I can't. Let's see what they say about this. Maybe they'll block Fireblade Artist. Cool. They do. Very nice. So we got rid of the Fireblade Artist. That I mean, we got rid of the Exclusion Mage, which means they don't have a wizard. Uh, that is a double retort, so. Okay. They have something to play. Alright, I'll play Put Light Fiend. Okay, so it's nothing. Nothing yet. Alright, nice. So we got some damage in with Foot Light Fiend, got rid of the Jin, which is pretty important. These Foot Light Fiends dying is good for us, so I mean unless they of course uh, trickster us. Alright. If they whiff on a land, I'm windmill slamming uh Chandra. Because other than that, it's only negate. Spell pierce we can pay for. I just feel like they want their wizards or torts. So cool. Pitched another charter course. Alright. We're gonna play the Chandra first. This way, if they have Spell Pierce, it doesn't work. Or, I mean, it does. It just shuts off our... Temp temporarily shuts us off. And guess what? I will pay for the Spell Pierce. I also have to question, what do they have in hand? Maybe I'm yours. So, what do they have now? I mean, we don't have to actually attack in with Footlight Fiend. This can stay back in case they have a Trickster. Uh, just go ahead and attack with these two little sweet elemental tokens. And then we'll try to drop a hero. I want my Cruel Celebrants and my Zombie Knight. Zombie Knight is gas. Card is sweet. If we can get those two paired up with Chandra, that's just like Exodia. That is the dream team. Yep, there's Trickster. Okay, so we most likely won't be resolving many spells after this. Now, we could have actually just attacked with the Footlight Fiends, forcing them to play the Trickster. We can minus, and then minusing Chandra means we get to use Legion's End on Trickster, which is pretty major. Send in the Footlight Fiends. Okay. What do we have in hand here for the opponent? I'm just going to plus, make a Grim Initiate. They can counter it if they want. Sure. I need them I need to get them to use their wizards retorts. Curious obsession, sure. If they hit us, that's fine. Or if they hit a Chandra, that's fine. Like they need to make sure they attack. That's all that matters, or else that thing falls off. If I'm if I'm them, I might just go for me directly. That'll force me to block. No blocks. Alright. Let's go ahead and attack with Hero Precinct. Then we're going to try to double block the Trickster. Let me think. One of those has got to be a dive down, right? Double blocking sets us up for a, ourselves up for a super huge blowout. I guess we send the damage upstairs with Footlight Fiend. Hope that we draw something soon. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on, where's our Cruel Celebrant at? We just need a Cruel Celebrant. Uh, where is our Cruel Celebrant at? All we need. Okay, well, we lost our, our Footlight Fiend. That was a good draw from our opponent. Or they tapped down our Footlight Fiend, so now we no longer get to threaten uh, the zero ability. We just drawn too many lands, unfortunately, this game. And we have one more to go with it. How do we have so many lands? I think we only played 23. 
three, six, seven. Guess we should go lower. They topped that card. I mean, we're never resolving any other spells, right? Okay, we have... We can't double spell because we already know this is a land, so we're feeling pretty bad right now. A Legion's End is in the graveyard, so we need to hit a Chandra. Send the damage upstairs. Got a token? Probably should have waited. We should probably be double spelling. All right, pass to the opponent. As long as we just keep blocking the main trickster, which is the one with Curious Obsession, we'll be okay. Because it doesn't, it means that our spells don't have to resolve, right? We just gotta keep chumping it. Until they show me a Jin, of course. Jin actually speeds the clock up. Oh, wow. Another one, huh? Alright. We drew another land. How unfortunate. We're not blocking anyway, so I may as well attack. We're not blocking. Like, we, we, we can't win if we block, so... We go down to one, they draw a card. They have another Curious Obsession, they can kill us. Nice. Mind gamed him. We had nothing. We, ha we have a land. I know what my opponent's thinking. There's no way that I could just be holding a land. But trust me, I've got a few. I guess this doesn't resolve. What? It's so weird. Uh, okay. One, two, three. Three wizards retorts from the opponent. <laughs> we do not have anything. Go to one. Sure. Okay. We're dead. Yep, that's what we needed, but we died, so... Unfortunate. Good luck, Munchie. I can dream. I can dream. I definitely can dream. I mean, what are the odds they have a removal spell, right? Like, so low in black and red. We'll be fine. Grixis of all colors? They have, like, no removal. Thought Erasure? That's, like, removal. <laughs> From my hand. Well, interesting. Well, we're probably not going to keep Chandra, right? Opponent has more than enough ways to deal with our X2s. Mainly Cry the Carnarium. Also, nothing in our deck costs more than three, so... Ritual of Soot. This has to be our worst matchup. What is the opponent looking for? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I guess we'll play Corpse Knight. I mean, hopefully they don't know we drew a Chandra. As in, hopefully they don't cast another Thought Erasure. What could they play on three? Like, pass? That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, you got it. Another Thought Erasure. Feels good. Oh, duress? Tell me you've got a duress to follow this up. Oh, yeah, you do. Perfect. Look at that, YouTube. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that right there? Let me guess. Right into a board wipe. Land board wipe. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfect. If I could handpick seven cards, it would look something like that. Uh, decline. Well, here's to hoping we don't die to Big Bolus. Let's also hope that's their last bit of good magic. Just need to get in there for a little bit of damage. That's all. Don't sweep me. Okay, but Devil is, like, fine. But, like, sweeping the board is not, so decline. All right, let's just play Night Evan Legion just in case. I mean, we'll play the Unknown Land in the event they draw fifth or, like, another Bolus or something like that. Oh, my gosh. Here, let me uh, let me just pick your seven cards for you. There, there they are. <laughs> Obliterated. Not even close. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you got it with the BM. I love it. I love it. Opponent has to know that they were like on a destiny draw there, right? Like it's like if like once again we're playing magic. Opponent is magic though. Look at that. Ripped from our hand, ripped from our hand. Everything's been ripped from our hand. Hey, let's see if we get to keep this. Unlikely, but I can try. Here it comes. Dragon God, there it is. I, I have to ask what their starting seven was. I am so curious what their starting seven was. Uh, 
Oh boy. Can't let them keep Bolas, because that's a problem. Oh, show me a six mana planeswalker. There we go. Cool. Oh, gross. All right, we're up against Tomo. Good luck opponent. Uh, we, we'll keep this. This is a pretty solid start. We get to go Grim Initiate into Corpse Knight into Cruel Celebrant plus Knight of Heaven Legion, potentially. Please don't be Grixis. <laughs> Please don't be Grixis. After us, we got stomped last game. Please don't be Grixis. All right, we're gonna have a pretty solid turn if they're not a black base removal deck. Oh, they looks like they could also be mono red. Oh, it's Cavalcade for sure then. We're not gonna swing with Grim Initiate because leave it back to block. It's got first strike. All right, no removal, no removal, no removal, no removal. That looks like removal, that's weird. That looks like twice the removal. Well, I guess if they trade both Fanatical Firebrands, I'm not exactly hating that. Interesting. So we have First Strike. Very nice. Interesting. What should I do here? Actually, now I'm kind of tempted to play this a different way. Right? If we... I'm going to attack with my Corpse Knight. See how they feel about that. They seem to feel okay about that. Now next turn, if I just wait, if I just wait next turn, I can I can actually like get a pretty solid turn out of this, right? Now if I just do this, they sack both their things. Eh, it's fine, whatever. Because next turn we go double spell. They can rip our Knight of the Ebon Legion. Actually, we can force them right now. We can force them right now. They took two. So if they don't kill our Grim, uh, our Knight of the Ebon Legion right now, it gets a one-one counter. Oh, nice, cool. Nice, and we got there. Good luck, Lossy. Uh, don't get to start with the Grim Initiate, but we do get to go right into Footlight Fiend. No need to shock. All right, I'll keep the seven. All right, for the marbles. Footlight Fiend, take us home, friend. Hopefully we draw a red source soon. But we don't really ever need more than four lands, so. Now, I thought about playing Spawn of Mayhem in this build, but I feel like then we just become Mardu mid-range. And it's not as aristocratic. Good news for the opponent. Despite you mulling to five, I'm on a meme deck. You like memes, opponent? Because I got them for you. Whoa! Alright, so it looks like it might be Bant or Esper Flash? Esper mid range? Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know opponent was all about that business. As you can currently see, opponent is about the business. I was not ready for this. I'm not going to lie to you whatsoever. Holy cow. Okay. Order, of course. We start with this. We go Corpse Knight. Uh, let's see if this works out for us. Interesting. And I'll attack with this. The Footlight Fiend can swing in. If they block it, we just kill the Spectral Sailor. Oh, please. Please, please, please. Swing. Swing with the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Send me to my maker. All right, well, that's two Knight of the Ebon Legions. Let's, okay, let's slow down a little bit, opponent. You're getting a little wild now. I was kidding earlier. Oh, jeez, Louise. Now that's business. Dangerous. I like it. Can't play uh, Chandra, unfortunately. We don't have double red. So, nice. And we got there. Well, we did not end with more losses than wins, so this is a good, good, good day. We went four and three with the deck. The deck was a lot of memes. We got to do the cute things we wanted to do. By no means do I think this is the tier deck that you should craft, but it is just a lot of fun, right? Tell me it was not satisfying. Why, like, especially that last match. Whenever hero dropped a token into play, opponent lost life. Like, that's amazing. If we ever stack Cruel Celebrants and Corpse Knights, as you would witness in some of the videos, like in match two against the Goblins, it felt, it felt pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it felt very good. So, if you like the way the deck plays, feel free to craft it. 
you know, I Chandra is double red, so a little harsh on the mana, but <laughs> if you're trying to be extra cute, kawaii, then I think you'll be fine with this card. This card is a blast. Plus, you know, we get to reoccur our our four removal spells. Maybe we should go up a little bit more interaction, cut a grim initiate or something like that. Go like two legions end, three bedevils, or sorry, two legions end, one mortify, one bedevil. I think that'd be pretty solid. But yeah, thank you so much for watching another episode of Single Scoop. As always, you know, if you enjoy the content we make here, make sure you leave a like and a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when we put a brand new video up on MTG Goldfish. Uh, and if you haven't checked out my other series, make sure you check out Modern Mayhem and, of course, Fish 5 And, of course, all the wonderful content that Saffron Olive makes pro and uh, any, any and all of the Goldfish crew, Tomer, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. As always, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out. I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.